Well, second series woes for the Cobras continue as the Cobras lose their second series in the 2021 MOW Series 2-1 to one, to the Eastern Eagles. And you know what? I'm kind of at peace with it. It was a very close series. It went 2-0, 2-1, then the only game the Cobras won was 2-0 again. And let's break this game, um, this series down. We start with game one, and Drew Davis goes with Baranowski. Oh, no! And he's great. He's better than great. He's amazing. And he kind of just got beat on two back-to-back, -back, or I don't know if it was back-to-back, -back, but home runs from his um, f um fellow um, draft pick in 2020, Dallas Allen, and Mr. MVP this season, Neil Smith. So that's kind of the only thing that happened that game um, offensively that the Cobras even actually got beat on. And it doesn't even matter because Baranowski, the Grizzly Bear, was great throughout the game. So good to see him staying sharp um, with a start that he stuck through all three innings. Second game, the game that the Cobras lost 2-1, um, starts up with Drew Davis on the mound. And... Like, in the first inning or the first um, pitch after Drew Davis pitches is a solo shot in the first at bat deep to opposite field for Drew Davis. 1-0 Cobras very early as Drew Davis, the captain, gets, the, gets his second home run in the season, or third home run of the season, and his second solo home run. And he has been great, like, this past two um, series, he's been pitching great, hitting great, and leading great. I don't know what more do you want from a captain and manager. He has really just been amazing throughout this entire season up to this point. And now we head to, I believe, yes, the second inning, the top of the second. And Drew Davis, from the pitches that were edited in um, from Kyle, he just kept throwing, like when he was down on strikes, he just kept trying to throw this drop ball, and it didn't work. It looked nasty, but it needs to hit the zone for it to work. And in my opinion, he needs to go for a less dangerous pitch um, down to three strikes in an at-bat, like the slide drop, which he's known for, or maybe just a fastball to rise or something that he'll know will hit the zone, but has a higher chance of the opponent hitting it. Maybe he just speeds it up a bit so it just blows by them. A drop ball is not going to work in that situation, especially against Daniel Schultz is um, Eastern Eagles team. So knowing that, I don't know why he kept going for that drop ball. And by the end of that inning, it was 2-1 Eastern Eagles and it stuck that way throughout the end, throughout the rest of that game. And by the end, the end of that game. And I mean, sure, it was a great game from Drew Davis pitcher, but that second inning kind of just killed him. And now we head to the third game. The story heading into this game is um, it was either the second inning or the first inning. Sean Flynn taken out from a press call practice. So coming in is Gus um, put in the outfield from Drew Davis as Sean Flynn comes out. He also was great. And speaking of Sean Flynn, Sean Flynn being great, first inning, um, he hits a grounder. And just like he always does with that amazing speed, he gets on base. Next up is another very fast player in Andy Duran up to bat. And he hit a, I believe, ground ball. And just like these two always do, they just cause a bunch of chaos in the on those base pads. So Sean so Andy Duran gets to first and he stretches it to second, stretching it to second while Sean Flynn stretches it to third. As he stretches out the third, he decides to go home as Andy goes to third. So they're just kind of tailing behind each other. And Sean Flynn is safe by the end of it, giving a giving the Coastal Cobras a one nothing lead. Drew Davis pitches well through the bottom of the first, and in the second inning, they have the bases loaded with Brendan Baranowski up to bat, and he draws a walk for the Cobras' second run of the inning, and that kind of does it. Oh, so somewhere throughout the series, Andy Duran got struck out, so he chucked the ball over the fence. Love to see that. And um, I believe it was a home run, but I'm not entirely sure how the... Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I was thinking of uh, the second game. But, yeah, and the Cobras get a clean shutout win led by Drew Davis as they win 2-0, um, salvaging one win out of this series. People, Cobras fans, Cobras Nation, 
look at this in completely different ways. Some Corpus fans are saying, oh my god, is this just another opening day fluke going into the second game, handling a team from the NL that's just better than us? Or like me saying, dude, we were great. Sure, we may have not been the better team and we lost to a team that got swept, but the team that got swept by was amazing in the downtime diamond packs. And Brand Brandon Baranowski looked amazing and so did Drew Davis. Your two pitchers looking as sharp as they can while Andy Duran and Sean Flynn both got um brought home. Like, Bro, that's an amazing, amazing game. Like, I, I don't know what more you can want from your team. So the Cobras lose 2-1 in this series, but it kind of feels like a win to me as the Cobras are now 3-3, three and three, um, right in that middle trying to get to the top of the AL. Well, that's it for this one, and I appreciate you watching. Bye, be safe, don't text, and drive.